so lovely to meet you both, if virtually. I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Um, congratulations on this really, really brilliant film. Like, it's totally unique, really authentic, um, an amazing watch. So, so thanks so much for taking the time to speak with me about it. Um, maybe just to start off, for people who don't already know about Rocks, they don't know anything about it, how do you describe what this film's all about? Um, mm -hmm. I think Rocks is, not I think, I know, sorry. Rocks is about joy, it's about love, it's about resilience, it's about girlhood, sisterhood, friendship. It's about black boy joy. It's about um, what it means to be a young brown woman um, growing up in East London. I think what it means to be a young, a young girl, um, period. Um, and you see, we see the trials and tribulations Rox's character goes through and we see how her friendship and the people around her make her even stronger. Yeah. Yeah. And I understand it wasn't the most conventional process, casting for this film, the process of making it, even putting together the story. So how did you both get involved and what made you want to get involved with the project? You know, what was it that attracted you to it? Um, it, to be honest, when uh, we was getting into it, it wasn't really a project yet. It was um, Sarah, the director, and Lucy and Jessica, the casting directors, came to our schools um, and they just rounded up some girls and kind of saw how we worked together. We did different improvisations, activities. And, and at the moment, we didn't know it was for a film. We just thought it was summer, girls having fun and just little courses that we were doing for fun and to just make the time pass by. Um, but as we went into the process, it kind of got smaller in size. It started to feel a little bit more, you know, serious. And then we found out it was a film. And that's when we were kind of eager to go into it because of the people we met mostly. Um, and just, yeah, because it was just fun. It was great to be there and the environment. Um, yeah. What well, do you want to add on, Brookie? Um, yeah, I feel like Hosa summed it up really well. Um, like, as you said, it was a very... Um, non-traditional like way of audition film. I feel like that added to the organicness of the film. Um, yeah, there were so many things that were done so differently in comparison to how um, the film industry is. I know Sarah Gabron didn't even say action on set because she didn't want us to feel like we was on some Hollywood film set. She wanted it to feel as real as, as it could have been. But yeah. yeah. And what was it like working with her as a director? Because obviously, yeah, it's maybe you don't have much experience working in that environment anyway, but like, what was it like working with her and how, how did she make sure that you brought, she brought these scenes together, even if there was some like improvisation and stuff? Um, Go ahead. It was, yeah, it, was really, it was really nice working with Sarah. She's a very, um, she's very generous and she, the one thing that I really um, respect about Sarah is that she really listens. Um, the word collaborative is what should be highlighted in any sentence that um, that is to do with rocks because it was such a collaborative process. Um, Sarah would listen to every single idea that was said. I remember in the, right, in the writer's room, the two writers, um, Teresa Akoko and Claire Wilson, um, and it was Sarah and Lucy Party was there and Jessica Straker there at times. Everyone and then the five main girls we were all able to feed in our own anecdotes um, during the, the writing process. And I was just so appreciative at the fact that Sarah and, and the other writers, Teresa and Claire, they really did listen to us. Mm -hmm. And um, the feeling of being listened to rather than just being heard is a really good feeling. It makes you feel like you're more of a part of the process. I feel like that day out of the whole, like, out of my whole rock journey was such a profound moment because I was, um, I was feeling in my ideas. So therefore I felt like I was more part of rocks as a, as a body of work. And bear in mind that time we hadn't even been allocated our parts. So that's, that's what made me want to be a part of this project even more. And for you, Kata? Um, yeah, like exactly what like Bookie said, um, Sarah's a very generous director. She's 
she made sure on set there was no such thing as like hierarchy because I know usually on set it's like the director has the power but um, when we were on set there was no such thing to be honest anyone could chip in their idea no idea was silly no idea was too small too big so um, yeah it was a great opportunity to work with Sarah and everyone else on set. Mm. And because of this collaborative process and she was listening to your ideas, were you, did you bring a lot from your own experience and upbringing to the story, to the film? And how important was it to you to be able to represent your lives on screen? Because it might be something that, you know, have you seen another film that you think accurately represents where you're from, you know, and, and the community you've grown up in? I mean, um... I felt like what I brought to the film was Ross's persona because it was still very much Teresa's narrative, Teresa Akoko, the writer, her narrative from her life. Um, I think it was directly taken from her sister. And we all had that in mind that despite us wanting to represent our own characters as these powerful young women, we had to respect the story at the same time and honour Teresa and her sister and the character and what the character actually represents. There were so much things to bear in mind, um, especially as a, as a brown creative in this industry, it's so easy to get critique because there's so little of us. Everything has to represent every other black creative and there's no, there's no, uh, no one that really allows range so I feel like when approaching rocks and, and I feel like when, called, when we all approached our characters, um, it was more sort of thing where we wanted to make sure that we were representing black, brown girls to their, um, their full potential. We wanted to make sure that they were multi-layered, they were funny, they were joyous, they were real, they were organic, they were happy, they were sad, they were they were strange, they were weird, they were just a multi, like multi layered is the only word I can use to describe it. Just a mixture of um, so many different things. I remember there's a line in Rocks where the teacher asks, asks Rocks, what do you want to be? And she says, I want to be like P. Diddy and 50 Cent. Like out of every, out of any name you would have thought, I would have never thought that that would come out of the young girl's mouth. Well, that's how we see how these young people are layered and they have so much layers to them. And like from her very young mind, she has an entrepreneurial mindset already. So I'm not sure if that's going to answer your question, but um, as you said, you said that representation is important to us. It's very important, it's very important because um, representation is what, is, what, is what feeds inspiration and to be inspired is to move forward and to create amazing work. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly what Becky said, to be honest. Um, wow, like, kind of the top that is exactly what was in my head. Um, yeah. And, I mean, like you say, there's kind of so many different aspects to the characters and different moments. Sometimes it just feels like, it seems like you're having such a laugh, like it's very natural. You're just kind of like messing around in the classroom. And then there's also some like really intense moments really quite hard to watch moment. So what were some of maybe the highlights of filming and some of the most challenging bits? Um, the highlights were, of course, when we were all together, you know, them funny, joyous moments, which were also completely real, like behind the camera. We'd even forget about the camera and actually just be having fun. Um, but of course there was difficult aspects, like when we had to do the intense scenes, it was, it was hard to kind of be vulnerable, put yourself out there when there's not only a big camera on your face, but also turning people standing behind it. Um, and like Bucky always says, it's kind of like, we're, I've always had the mindset of, if you cry, you're weak, or if you show your emotions, it's kind of like, just shut that down. So when you're in a career where you have to actually be vulnerable and put yourself out there, it can be, it, it's difficult. It, it, yeah, so them intense scenes and them emotional scenes were very, very difficult for me personally. But of course, when I had someone like Buki alongside me, she made the ride very much easier. She's a very inspirational person as well, so that made it that made it easier. Yeah. Mm. 
And then just finally, you know, there are so many different moments in the film. Like you say, it's kind of like about girlhood. It's also about authentically representing, you know, parts of London and, and I think young people's lives that you don't often see on screen. What do you hope that people are going to take away from the film? I hope people see that um, there's more to young people than what meets the eye. Um, I hope people see that blackness and struggle isn't synonymous, and that blackness, brownness, and love is synonymous. And I hope people see how important friendship is when just growing up and I hope people, I hope a lot of people see um, rocks as some sort of like nostalgia and I hope they remember the joyous parts of childhood and of friendship and they see out of any single, out of every single relationship, friendship is more important and most important. I hope a lot of people put friendship below romantic relationships and I think that's that's not true we need I think we need friendship I don't know where I would be without my friends like my friends are my top inspirations in life my role models are my friends so I hope when people see rocks they see that they see womanhood I hope what they see I hope they see what it means to be a brown woman and I hope they see that I'm being repetitive now, but I just hope they appreciate it more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like Bookie said, um, I hope they love it. I hope they appreciate it. I hope they relate to it in some way from the jokes from and everything and all the elements and rocks. Um, yeah, and I just hope that young, young teenagers, young adults see themselves on screen and see that there is opportunity for them in this industry and they can go for whatever they set their mind to. It's kind of so cringy, but yeah. <laughs> and hopefully we'll see, see more women, young women, women of colour, mm -hmm. leading films than, mm -hmm. than we have in the past. So hopefully that, that's something that's going to change. Yeah. Change. Thank oh, you. Brilliant. Thank you so much for your time and congratulations again on that. Um, we couldn't be in the same room, but um, I hope all goes well with the release and hopefully we'll be back in cinemas and, and meeting in person again soon. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much.